Hi everyone, welcome to another batch tutorial. This time I'm going to show you some helpful commands. First of all, I would like to start us off with the making a directory. Okay, MD, make directory. Easy as pie. It can't really come, it can come and help, uh, come in useful if you want to make a a batch file to make directories in a certain place but I won't really be doing an example of those even though in fact I have made many batch files to do with fo here you go folder name you make let me edit it with notepad here you go it's quite it's quite a basic one it can come in useful but uh, there you go Next of all, I'd like to show you how to delete. Okay, so you're going to need a path. In order to delete something, you're going to need a path. Now, I'm just going to use this random text file I just found. I hope that there's. An yeah, there's nothing in there. Nothing important. Alright, so I'm going to go delete. Now, it. Um, delete. You're going to need to put a path in. And that is users. You can really easily go and find it by going properties, uh, details, da da da, copy. Oh, can I copy that? Or just type down what's in there. But I know it off by heart, so I'm just gonna go my way. Then output txt enter. Oh, then I might go. Oh, come on, CLS. I'll save as commands. I'm not going to save it there. There you go, and that was it. It disappeared. Right. So that was your delete thing. Right. What else can I show you? I can show you the good old. Actually, before I show you how to rename, I'm going to show you how to create something. So, echo. This could be quite useful if you're in command prompt and you want to add lines to a batch file. I find this quite useful if they just come to me. Right, so this is echo, and then you type what you want to type. So, like, uh, testing. Oh, testing. And then I can do this, which means, uh, wait, test.txt. That means testing is what will be in uh, that txt file okay testing is what will be in that txt file now I can change that to testing 5 control s Ooh. okay oh gosh what's going on control s then go there and then that will be testing 5 ss it doesn't add it if you want to add things on like I was saying which comes in quite useful, you can do it like that. And then, no matter how many times you use that, oh, sorry. Control, save, file, oh. See? It gets added on. I keep on doing that, and more just get added on. That is what you want to use if you want to type and then add it onto a file. So now that I've created that, also, yeah, I can rename it by going. You also have to add the path to this, I'm afraid, which at first gets quite annoying, but after quite a while of doing this, it comes to you. Desktop test.txt. Control S 
Oh wait, sorry. What do I want to rename it to? I want to rename it to by dot txt control s. It changes it to by. Right. And then I'll just go back. Use that. Oh, oh. See, and then I can use that delete thing we used earlier. Brilliant, and then just go Control S. See, these can come in useful. So as you can see, that deleted what was there, uh, that by dot text, and before that, text dot txt changed to by dot txt, and so on. So that concludes this tutorial on commands. Uh, subscribe. It's Mini Churchy's Fly, and uh, goodbye.